Okay, Hare Krishna. So, we were discussing this uh, churning ocean of milk, Leela, and we are now at the place when Lord Shiva drank the poison, and then the Asuras Devatas continue churning. And then, there's so many things. expense. Vibhinamsha means separate individuals, separate, separate uh, personalities. Okay, separate conscious living entities, Atmas. But when Lord expands into Amsha, that is himself, his own form, his own person, same personality, but they may appear in different form. Now, when Lord expands into Balaram, Balaram expands into Sankarshan, Sankarshan expands into Narayan. So you have from Amsha, Amsha. So, say, Danvatari may not directly be expanded from Krishna, but is expanded from Mahavishnu or from particular like Shirarakasha Vishnu here. So when Mahavishnu expands into Shirarakasha Vishnu, Shirarakasha Vishnu expands into Danvantari. So it's Amsha Amshena. So we understand that the potency is same of the Lord. Savai Bhagavat Sakshat is Bhagavan himself, but in this feature, he may not display full opulences, or he, he, will, he will display some particular features. He may not explain full-fledged opulences of the Lord. He may, Krishna, Ram and Narsinghadev, they display full six opulences of the Lord. Now Kurma, Varaha, Matsya, they may express some of the opulences of the Lord. Not that they cannot do it, they can do it, it's Bhagavan himself, but they don't show everything. They don't show the full specter of the powers and opulences. So here is Amsha Amshena. From Lord Amsha, Amsha is expanded. So this is very interesting that should not be confusion. Bhagavat Sakshat. Savai, Bhagavata Sakshat. All the Supreme Person, Sakshat directly, Vishnu, or Lord Vishnu, Amsha, Amsha, Sambhava, incarnation of the plenary portion. Plenary means complete, just like Hare Krishna. Just like they call in the company. Today we have plenary meeting. Plenary meeting means everybody has to come. Plenary meeting means from the, the blooming lady to the director, everybody has to come. That's called plenary meeting. Means everybody is included. So the same, the same way, this plenary incarnation, this is the Amsha Amsha Sambhava. He, he himself, full, complete Lord himself. It's not that some something uh, like Lord can expand into Jiva and can empower the Jiva to do something. Just like Narada Muni, it's Jiva Tattva. Narada is not Bhagavan, he's a great Rishi. It's a Jiva empowered with Bhakti Tattva, Bhakti Shakti, is empowered in Narada Muni. There is another um, Jiva um, empowered, Vyasata, Ved Vyas, is another Jiva empowered by Lord to be literal incarnation. So these are called Shakti Avesha Avatars, Shakti Avesha. Some Shakti is given to the Jiva to perform something. That is different from Vibhinamsha? No, these are all Vibhinamshas, but they are, because they are empowered, then they are called Shakti Avesha. Just like I'm Vibhinamsha, you are Vibhinamsha. But I cannot write all the Vedas. I can write one article. <laughs> but I cannot write Vedas like Yasdev. They are specially empowered, Shakti Avesh. So they also consider Vataras, but they are not in category of Vishnu Tattva. They are not on the same level as like Vishnu. Shakti Avesh means empowered. Um, many examples are given. Um, Kapila Dev, or maybe. Um, hmm? Uh, Parashuram also, mm, Rishabhadev, they are different, different categories are given. Buddha, Buddha also. Uh, when there is no qualified person to do function of Buddha, then Lord Vishnu himself takes that post. Otherwise, otherwise Buddha also, Jiva Tattva. Pious, most very pious personality. This is what Bhagavatam describes, how Bhagavatam describes. So, uh, so here, it's very clear that Dhanvantara is Vishnu Tattva. The Dhanvantara is expansion of Bhagavan Vishnu himself. And it's matching also, bluish complexion, yellow dhoti is showing. And he is holding that pot. But he, the avatar is for particular Leela. So now this is the fourth one. We have Kurma holding the Mandara mountain. We have Ajita churning. We have another form of thousand hands of Lord Vishnu on the top of the mountain balancing it. And now we have Dhanvantari coming out of the ocean with, with Amritam. Finally, okay, let's see what happened next. <laughs> this is amazing, Lila. Okay, the person 
This person was done with a plenary portion, plenary portion of Lord Vishnu. He was very conversant with the science of medicine. And as one of the demigods, he was permitted to take a share in the sacrifice. So this is special uh, uh, Lord Danvantari is uh, particularly worshipped uh, as a presiding deity of all Ayurvedic knowledge and all the medicines. If you come to Shirangam, you will see that there is particular Danvantari Murti there. From the backside, there is that Vaikuntha Dwaram. Just uh, towards the tire Sanidhi on the left side, you will see Danvantari. And every day, beautiful item is offered. There is um, dry ginger, gourd, pepper, and um, dry ginger, gourd, pepper, lachi, dry ginger, gourd, pepper, lachi, five items. One I forgot. Maybe little ghee. <laughs> ginger, uh, gourd, lachi, pepper, and one more item. No, no, it's a, it's a, how you call it? You, there is Tamil name for it, they have. It's a, offered like a, like a paste. It's a medicine, and daily is offered to Danvantari. And if you request the pujaris on the prasadam stall, you have to come proper time and know the proper person. We'll give you the contact, <laughs> and then you get this Danvantari prasadam. You never took in Sri Rangam Danvantari prasadam, and they say you take it, no disease will come, sicknesses and this that. Very famous. Hmm? No clue. Uh, the yeah. The afternoon, so ah, the morning. morning you have to come. Morning you have to come. Next time I go, Shiranga will bring you some. It's very nice. He's offering clay pot, and it's um, you can you imagine dry ginger, gourd, no dry ginger, gourd, elachi, and uh, and um, yeah, gourd, kalkan, ginger, pepper. Pepper is there. It's quite strong. Can you chew it and you feel good? You know, some for throat and some shakti. Than monetary medicine. All right. So here, this is interesting. Madhvacharya gives comments. Now, Danvantari, who was carrying the jug containing nectar, was plenary incarnation supreme personality Godhead. But although he was very strong, Asuras were able to take the jug of nectar from his hands. Now this is interesting. Why? Why would God allow that? For the sake of Lila. Now this is this is how Lila unfolds. You know. Okay. This is interesting. Upon seeing Danvantari carrying the jug of nectar, the demons desiring the jug and its contents immediately snatched it away by force. Now Asuras immediately didn't waste time. All right, this is why we are churning all this. Give the nectar. <laughs> okay. So here, when the jug of nectar was carried off by the demons, the demigods were morose. Thus they sought shelter at the lotus feet of Supreme Personality Godhead Hari. Now you see what means pious person. Pious person means when trouble comes, he takes shelter of the Lord. Impious person immediately curses the Lord. Ah, I, I so much I did for you. Ah, you are, this is how you are rewarding me. And this, this. Why? Why, Lord? I don't believe you. The impious person reacts like this. Pious person takes more shelter <coughs> in the Lord. And this is the difference between pious and impious. This is how they react. So while by getting this knowledge from Bhagavatam, by hearing these uh, instructions, we are getting so much faith and so much uh, awareness when difficulty comes, how to handle it in Krishna conscious way. A difficulty will come. We are in material world, 100% difficulty comes. Because this is place of Maya. This is place of inauspiciousness. This is place of temporary. Everything is temporary. So what do you do? You know, you have to deal with it. Now we are in material body, you have to deal with the body. You have to feed the body, you have to run the body, you have to... You carry your mind with you and there are many minds around and they comment something, they say something, they do something and there is a suffering. Adi Atmik, Adi Bautik, Adi Daivik, Lesha, there is always kind of suffering. But you see, the thing is like this, that by hearing Bhagavatam we get this faith that Lord will help us. Now, help is not exactly always as we expect. Sometimes help we expect that Lord will help in this particular way. But Lord knows better what is better for us. Like kids, kids sometimes can't understand. What's the problem playing? You only told me to play. Now you're telling don't play. What's, you just, elders are really, you know, they're changing mind a little. <laughs> kids cannot understand. What is good for them, what is bad for them? What's the problem? You are giving me chocolate. Now when I want chocolate, you say, no, after the lunch. Why all these rules and regular conditions? You only made for me cookie. Now you're not giving. What kind of mother are you? Why are you at easy and necessary? You, know? you say you make cookie for me, now I want to eat? You say, no, after the lunch. Why? What is the matter? 
Kids can't relate. So we also cannot relate. We are praying for one thing. Um, Lord, why not like this? Why not like this? Please help me. Please help me. Nothing happened. Oh. But then maybe something good happened for us. But Lord always see the spiritual benefit. We are always thinking material benefit, material benefit, material benefit. And this is what is disappointing us. This is where we can't stand hold. We can't understand. So many times we have experience, you know, that uh, uh, when we purchase, for example, simple example, we purchase land in Tamil Sangam, 7,500 square feet. Okay, so I thought, all right, from having no land, 7,500 square feet is as big as a you know, continent, because you didn't have any land, now we have some land. No? 7,500 square feet is not super big place, you know. Say like the one-fourth of this parking place what we have in front, okay, for example. So, but we were excited. Okay, let's build a compound wall and gradually we'll build a temple. 7,500 square feet. Um, this is size of our go-down now in the present temple, for example. So it's not big, like, but that time we were so excited. So I wanted to build a compound wall. We went, we called the engineer, we got the iron, we just about to order cement. A neighbor, one mechanic person, he started shouting again, this is my land, this is not your land, this is the fighting with us. I say, why, what is this? You know, we have paper, we have pata, everything is clear, you know. This is, no, I want 5,000 square feet for my bathroom toilet. I don't have bathroom toilet, I'll build in your land. I said, great, now because of one mechanic, we are going to start building temple. You see, this is my understanding. So anyway, we, we tried to explain to him, he was unreasonable, he started shouting, this, that, this, that. So he started building with that, that uh, roof, bathroom toilet right in the inside of our land, you know. So I, one day I spoke, second day I spoke, third day I spoke, fourth day I broke all his bathroom toilet. <laughs> because was, yeah, one push was enough, you know. Then, I got a call from whom? That minister wants to talk to you. He was relative of a previous minister who is now somewhere in uh, heaven. <laughs> uh, some compromise must be found. Something he spoke on phone, he was convinced I'm Tamilian because he couldn't see the other side of the phone. <laughs> uh, compromise. How much he wants you give him that land? Oop, oops, oops. So I was thinking, Krishna, why like this? This is the one mechanic is going to stop temple construction, you know? But it's not mechanic, it's Krishna. Next year, price shoot it up so much, and we got the opportunity for 7,500 square feet to buy how much? Three and a half acres for the same price. Krishna stop it. It's not that they have a power. How can one mechanic stop building a temple, you know? But that time I couldn't understand. I was like, what a, what a place. You have a little political influence, anything you can do. You can stop. I was called in like anything. If you hear those lectures recorded those days, I was called politicians every lecture. <laughs> no? we were, you know, now I met him. We were just a few days ago, just roaming. That's why I remember this incident. He's so happy to see, oh, nice to see you, this, that. He got his piece of land. Even person who we saw later, they did some compromise and he got his piece of land. Nice to see you. How is temple? I'll also come. So friendly he is. So I understood. That time, Krishna himself entered into his mind and told him, stop these fellows, otherwise they'll start spending money building there something which they're going to leave anyway in six months. And this is exactly what has happened, you know. We got three and a half acres. You know? And I told you, one acre is 44,000 square feet. One acre. This is 7,500 square feet. You know, it's nothing. And there we got three and a half acres for the same money. So this is all Krishna's plan. But that moment, you know, I was a little angry, you know. Not on Krishna, but what is this? <laughs> so it's not every time as you think the best plan. Because we think we are the smartest, so we think, oh, my plan is the best. And if Lord a little bit grease on my plan. <laughs> but this is where disappointment comes. That we should see what is Lord's plan. And this is difficult to come. Therefore, in spiritual life, we always ask Guru. Okay, we have good plan. Maharaj, we have this plan, this plan. Shall we do? Maharaj, then he say, yes or no? Because we accept he is more pure, he is more advanced, he is more Krishna conscious than me. So we simply accept authority. This is difficult for materialistic man. Materialist man doesn't want to listen to anybody. It's <laughs> somewhere other, you know. Even nowadays in the schools also, that arrogance, is, is, um, ego is so much obstacle on learning. 
learn something. Why? If this lady cooks better than you, then you go to her and learn. What is the... Why not go there? We asked one mother, she wanted to cook. She make lemon rice. She called it lemon rice. I know how, why we give some other name, <laughs> you know, because nothing to do with lemon rice. Man. I mean, if you put mustard seeds in lemon rice, okay, but if you put so much mustard seed, there is more mustard seed than the rice, you know, and what you speak of lemon, you know, then, you know, looking, and, you know, it was looking white, not yellow, and the black, you know, white and black, and this is lemon rice. Uh huh, and, and uh, I say, and what you will do? Lemon, you will serve separately. <laughs> No lemon is. <laughs> so two of us were looking at each other. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> looking, my goodness. You know. So we passed the message. Why don't you learn from that lady? She's an elder lady. She cooks first class. You know. I'll not go to her house. But the, how does it help you? No. How does it help you? You can't learn. So some humbleness must be there. So you see, the pious people and the spiritual life is must to accept authority. You must. You must come in front of guru. I'm a fool. And even if you don't understand, you will see the guru guides properly. It's, it's, even you can't understand, or oh, is it sometimes advice is maybe not visible immediately, practical or something, or you think I can't do that, you know, but it's not like that. Because with instruction, guru gives the power to do the task also. With instruction, Krishna gives you power to do that. It, it, it doesn't come alone. With instruction, you got this all empowerment. How much you surrender, this much power you get. You know, it's, uh, it's um, I don't know, we have so many experiences like this, small, small, small things. But it's amazing, you know, even if you see um, how everything started in Salem. First we had rented a house, then we have somebody given some land to use. And then after that we got a little small piece of land. Now we got so big land. And people think, man on the Bhumi Puja is asking me, on Bumi Pojo Temple, man is coming. So, all money collected, everything in the bank, no? I was thinking, my goodness, he's in absolute illusion how this is going to work. <laughs> I have one leg in the bank when we did Bumi Pojo, you know? <laughs> People think already five, six crores are there, ten crores are there, nothing to worry, you know? We had one leg, and Bumi Pojo had to spend 25,000 for the <laughs> prasadam, for the gas, for this, for that, you know? So, Bumi Pojo was a major expense for us, <laughs> you know? People think it's like, but it's not like that. But Maharaj said, build a temple, build a temple, Krishna will send money, all right, you know, it's a struggle. It's not that you sit there and wait in Krishna, Krishna, you are late, <laughs> where's the money? No, this is service for us, it's given to us to get purified. It's my service, it is my duty, it's my service, not Krishna's service. But when I endeavor, Krishna reciprocates, because it's Guru's order. So you can see some nice temple is coming up from nowhere, from nothing. And then few people came forward, you know, help. No more people are taking it like this, you know. And it's, um, if you calculate it, something like this, even if you give to businessmen, you are starting 20 crore project with one leg in the bank and no plan whatsoever about how you're going to collect 20 crores, you know. The plan was, um, we are going to collect. <laughs> that was the plan, you know. So, you know, you won't intellectually, by intelligence, you won't dare to start something like this, you know. You know, it simply you weren't there. But for us, was no consideration. Might as well do it. We just started doing it. <coughs> you know, and it's not over, and it's a struggle. It's not that you know, you know. Oh, Iskon is rich. Iskon is rich because we collect money. Not that we have some stock or bank, and we don't work like that. That we have a central bank, and I call, hello, uh, head office, please. You know, I'm in Salem. Immediately send two crores. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you can send. Transfer online, so I don't have to wait. It doesn't work like this. We are sending to headquarters some portion of collection so they can run this big institution and organization. <laughs> complete opposite, everything opposite, you know. Every temple is decentralized. Every temple has to collect on his own. And we are all paying small percentage to the head office because they have to run legal, legally all our ISCON documents, paper, lands, everything is registered in Bombay. So they have to run some office. So we are paying from, from we are sending to headquarters, not that, not that they are sending to us. Other maths are working differently. Like Mr. Lakshman Jain explained to me how Ramakrishna math works. Swamiji calls headquarters and pushes a little bit his project, you know, and then, okay, send him something. <laughs> he asks, 
25 legs, so they send him 10, 12 legs like that, you know. It's like the, you know, some kind of arrangement. But here it's not like that. It's completely decentralized, Prabhupada making like this. Otherwise, you'll be, you'll be simply sitting and, you know, eating on the cost of somebody else. But it's not like that. It's a, it's a local endeavor. And this is the beauty of it. This is the beauty that we go to people, we meet people, we involve everyone, we are involved. And then, you know, people build up faith and trust see by seeing activities, you know. And then you appreciate everything, every single thing you appreciate. We spend money for chair, for table, for amplifier, for mic, for this, for that, every mitanga, you know, every stone, everything we know, how we collect it, how we spend. Just come and anybody touch and scratch my pillar, he'll cut his fingers. <laughs> because you appreciate. You hard work for it, then you appreciate every corner, then you maintaining nicely. Because what come easy you don't take care of. You know, but you know how much struggle came for something in your life. Something came with great difficulty. Then you appreciate like anything, you know. So therefore, everybody is made to work hard, you know, like that. So this is the idea. When instruction comes, empowerment comes to do it. The Guru tells you, okay, uh, whatever. Organize program for 10,000 people. 10,000 people. <laughs> how do I do that, you know? All right. So you don't say, impossible. You don't say this. You don't say... Uh, Maharaj, uh, you're not speaking properly. Nothing like that. All right, Maharaj, you have better vision than me. I'll do my best. So even if 1,000 people come, great. You are tempted. But most probably 10,000 comes. <laughs> it's like this. It works like this. You know, it's uh, so many times we have experience here. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, like for another time for Janmashtami, first we were serving Dona Prasadam. First we were giving some halwa or some pongal some sweet rice. Then one year we increase. One cup of kitri, one cup of sweet rice. Then the next year we increase. Okay, put a little more ghee, a little more cashew nuts, a little more raisins, you know. Then one year one man given some little rice donation. So we thought, why not give full prasadam for Janvashtra? 5,000 people, how will manage? So anyway, we'll try, let's see how it goes. So we went on Sherpet, collected some ingredients, this is that. We cook six, seven items, to 2006, six, seven items, 2007, I think. Six, seven items we cook, you know, and, and it was good. We managed, you know. We were surprised, but we managed. Get a little few bags of rice extra or left also after Janmash. Good. 2007, we did 14 items. If you remember, first Janmash in that land, we served five sweets and nine salties and basmati rice also. So 10,000 people came. Next year, 15,000. Next year, 25. Last year, 75,000 people. So how? How is possible? We don't know. <laughs> but some or other is going on. You know. But you can see, it's, it's just when instruction is given, empowerment is also given. And this is our small, small thing. Can you imagine Prabhupada, whose guru told him, you know English, you go to Western countries, from India to go to America and preach and convince them on Krishna Bhakti. Spread the Krishna Bhakti all over the world. Yes, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> that was the that was the answer. He went. You know, sixty nine years old man, he went with no money, no contacts, nothing, went there and he said simply I had faith in my Guru Maharaj's word. And he said that I came here to teach. My title was Bhakti Vedanta. So my Lord, please make my name meaningful. Let me give let me convince these people about Bhakti. And this is amazing. So this this is the secret of spiritual life, that when Guru says something, we have to have faith, you know, and we try. And even if we don't get the result, say we don't get the result, we could not manage program for 10,000 people, fine. But we did our best, that is success. This is what Krishna is seeing. He is seeing that we surrender 100%. Now, Falam, that's up to Krishna. Sometimes he may not give. Then let's see what is our reaction, what is our mentality. Are we attached? Are we not attached? Are we going to surrender? Are we going to increase faith or decrease faith? Sometimes Krishna doesn't give result. It's not everything fruity, everything materially motivated. That every time whatever, you know, has to be success. No, there is a failure also. There is a failure also. But in the failure, we say, oh, my fault. I didn't follow properly, I didn't chant properly, I didn't surrender properly, I was not Krishna conscious enough, Maya bewildered me. No? It happens, it happens, you know. 
always some, whatever work you do, there is some mistake. You can't do everything, everything perfectly. It's a difficult, you know. One day we are cooking for college program for 500 students, uh, tomato rice. So we, we had a new cook. He was trained, but he was trained mechanically, kind of, you know, not really experienced. But he knew this much rice, this much tomato, this is masala, okay, okay. So we saw these sour, sour, sour tomatoes, really local season, the sour a little bit, you know. So I told him, can you just put a little, one, two hands of sugar a little bit, just a little bit contact this, really looking very sour, the smell was coming really, you know, very strong sourness. So he said, okay, all right. So you put sugar, yeah, I put, all right. So he went to the college, we given to students and take him, they're looking strange. We didn't try. We offered to Lord and we went to college program and we, are, we will take last, you know, we go there. And every student, how is Prasad? Nice. They're looking strange, what is it, you know? Instead of sugar, he put that lemon acid, you know, for making cheese, you know? Two good hands of it, you know? Already tomatoes were sour. Now, you know what is this? This is to split the curdle for cheese, you know? You know how sour was that, you know? And all poor students, okay. <laughs> they're eating, they're scared of us. You know? they, they don't want to refuse. You know? My goodness, this is just, just like you, 10 lemons you squeeze in each cup, you know, really sour. They say, well, why are you eating this? No, you say prasadam, so you know. <laughs> My goodness. So what to do? Failures are there, you know. What to do? You know. But next time I told you, you put sticker, this is lemon acid, this is sugar, because they're looking very similar. And for new cook, and we have no lights there, you know, it's little, you know. One hand, two hands. I say, you put two good hands, probably. <laughs> so, you know. so what do you do? No, but you don't give up, you don't collapse. Like a small child. In every child, tendency to walk is there. It's built in. It's built in by Brahma. Brahma given chip, walk, walking chip. But first six months, there is a mess. The next six months, there is a good try, and there is a regular failure. Correct? In childhood, boom, fell down. And what the child concludes, I'll never be able to walk. Forget it. They don't think like this. Immediately. Stand up. And oh, smiling. What happened? What happened? Nothing happened. No? Continues walking. It fell down again, but one day it will walk. So this is the idea, you know. All of us, we have built in chip. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sadhu Kabunai. Shavanadi Shuddha Chitya Karai Udai. All of us, we have built in to love God. It's Krishna consciousness built in, nothing new to discover. Shavanadi, beginning with Shavanam by hearing, that will be invoke, revoke, reestablish. We have to practice, practice, practice. Okay, we go up and down, and up and down. Yeah? But one day we will love God. One day we will love Krishna. This is our propensity. It's nature of the soul to love God, you know. It's nothing unnatural. Okay, go back to our story. Okay. When this, when, so devatas immediately they approach the Lord. Lord, you promise us help, you promise us nectar. Look, these pharaohs, they snatch from us. No, they complain. When the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who always desired to fulfill the ambition of his devotees, saw that demigods were morose, he said to them, Do not be aggrieved. By my own energy, I shall bewilder the demons by creating quarrel among them. In this way, I shall fulfill your desires to have the nectar. Okay, now this is in the interesting. O king, a quarrel then arose among the demons over, the, over who would get the nectar first. Each of them said, you cannot drink first. I must drink first. Me first, not you. Classical demons, no? No, they work together for something, but, <clears throat> you know, then, then they quarreled. This is classical scenario in material world. Classic. We start together business, and any opportunity, I kick out my partner from the business. You heard about that? <laughs> I heard about it. So this is how it goes, you know, there is some opportunity comes, I take away. Brother and sister, we have a, our Mataji there, came crying, 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 what happened? Her own sister took her land property. Her own sister. Two sisters, father says, split equally. And when father was little, you know, in that age, that he was not so clear in his mind, you know. Then sister resigned the papers. Bought, bought patas in her name. He said, I'll take care of Pitaji for one week. In her house one week, sign all the documents and send back to that other sister house. She took care all life of father till he died. 
But the other sister in seven days signed all the papers of land. <laughs> Love your sister. <laughs> so this is how it goes. So not good mentality like this, not selfish. No. So these fellows, they're pushing, churning together. But now, I'll drink, I'll drink, I'll drink. Now, now might is right, no? Okay, symptoms of demons. Okay, then some of the demons said, all the demigods have taken part in churning the ocean of milk. Now, as everyone has an equal right to partake in any public sacrifice, according to eternal religious system, is befitting that the demi demigods now have a share of the nectar. Some of the demons said like that. Okay, in this way, the weaker demons forbade the stronger demons to take nectar. Not that they like demigods and they wanted to help them, but now they cannot fight with the stronger demons. So say, you come help us, these, these fellows won't give to us anything. So they immediately called, no, no, the demigods also they have to take. No. You see, this is the demon. Demon will be your friend when he needs you. When he doesn't need you, dumps you, simply dumps you. Ungratefulness, just interest, just interest. Everything is based on interest. Material is based on interest. Everything is on interest. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We'll take all your money. Thank you very much. Like this, everybody is smiling. Everybody is offering you this, offering you that. But everybody is there to exploit you. Material means exploited. Will benefit you. Our company will benefit you. Our company will benefit you. They'll squeeze you like this. We'll give you this credit, that credit, and this job, and that job, and you can get a car, you can get a flat, and everything you can get in two years. In two years, you can have your own car, your own flat, and loan for next 25 years to pay. <laughs> See, it's like this. Credit cards. Our, our brahmachari got new SIM card. Okay. Every day they're calling. What about credit card? Do you want credit card? Do you want credit card? Do you want a credit card? Poor fellow has no job. He has just open bank account. Because mother is sick, he has to, you know, transfer some money, this, that. Just open bank account. They're calling 10 times a day. We'll give you credit cards. And then become slave of the credit card. You know how it goes. Then you go in minus and then <laughs> Anyway. So here, don't think that now some of the demons are good. No, they are not good. They want to protect their, their own interest. So they are saying, share with the demigods. You should share with them. <laughs> Uh, very interesting. Okay, here the beautiful shloka appears now. Then, the Supreme Personality of Godhead Vishnu, who can contract any unfavorable situation, then assume the form of an extremely beautiful woman. Now, now Mohini Murti, yes. Now this is very interesting to notice. This is not Lakshmi's form. This is Vishnu himself. Lord expands into Lakshmi, you may say. This is different. Lakshmi Devi is Shakti Tattva, different from the Lord. Different from the Lord in the sense, it's a potency of the Lord. But here, this is female form of the Lord. And you will see later on commentaries of Vachari on this one. It's the most amazing. This is uh, uh, very amazing. Now Bhagawan takes form of the woman. <laughs> because usually ladies are Shaktis. They, they are potencies of the Lord. But not this one. This one is Vishnu himself. This incarnation as a woman, Mohini Murti, was most pleasing to the mind. Her complexion resembled in color a newly grown blackish lotus. Blackish lotus, newly grown blackish lotus. And every part of her body was beautifully situated. Her ears were equally decorated with earrings. Her cheeks were very beautiful. Her nose was raised and her face full of youthful luster. Her large breasts ma made her waist seem very thin. Attracted by the aroma of her face and body, bumblebees hummed around her, and thus her eyes were restless. Her hair, which was extremely beautiful, was garlanded with malika flowers. Her attractively constructed neck was decorated with necklaces and other ornaments. Her arms were decorated with bangles. Her body was covered with a clean sari, and her breast seems like I islands in an ocean of beauty. Her legs were decorated with ankle balls. Because of the movements of her eyebrows, as she smiled with shyness and glanced over the demons, all the demons were saturated with lusty desires, and every one of them desired to possess her. Now this is very interesting. The Lord assumes the form of a woman. Now this is not Maya. This is not Durga. This is not Lakshmi. This is Bhagavan himself. Thanks. So this is very, very interesting. Comments we'll see later. Okay. Then, thereafter, the demons became inimical towards one another. 
throwing a snatch into a container of nectar. They give up their friendly relationship. Meanwhile, they saw a very beautiful young woman coming forwards towards them. Now this in one side they are quarreling and suddenly this beautiful personality appears. Extraordinary. Now they seen Apsaras, they seen the Lakshmi Devi. But this is extreme bewilderment. You will see Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur comment later says the Lord appeared in this Mohini Murti with another purpose. Uh, he is uh, showing that he is so independent that this form, defeated form of Lakshmi Devi, that even Lakshmi could not appear so beautiful. Showing that Lord is not dependent even on Lakshmi for, for uh, his pleasures, for his happiness, for his... Uh, his, uh, his uh, there is no anybody more beautiful than Lakshmi. But here, when Lord himself took the form of female, he appeared to be more beautiful than Lakshmi Devi. And it's a special Lila. This is some special... That even Lakshmi Devi was amazed. What a, an extraordinary beauty. Okay. So here. Now... Okay, this is the story. Upon seeing the beautiful woman, the demon said, Alas, how wonderful is her beauty, her wonderful luster of her body, and how wonderful the beauty of her youthful age. Speaking this way, they quickly approached her, full of lust and desires to enjoy her, and, and began to inquire from her in many ways. Katvam kanja palasha aksi kutovam kim chikirshasi kasya kasya si vada amarum. So these are the the basic questions that they would be exchanged. Oh, wonderfully beautiful girl, you have such nice eyes, resembling the petals of a lotus flowers. They are poets, demons, sometimes poets also. <laughs> Who are you? Where do you come from? What is your purpose in coming here? And to whom do you belong? Oh, you whose tides are extraordinarily beautiful, our minds are becoming agitated simply because of seeing you. Now, they understood immediately that this is not married personality. This is a girl unmarried. And therefore they asked, to whom do you belong? Means, who is your father? No. Uh, they thought that, uh, look, this big assembly of such a great personality, demons and devatas are there, and all rishis were there, and Vishnu is there. So maybe the girl came to choose her husband. <laughs> that way, you know. So they were thinking like that, you know. So immediately they are proposing, so why don't you choose one among us? <laughs> okay. What to speak of human beings? Even the demigods, demons, siddhas, gandharvas, charanas, and the various directors of the universe, prajapatis, have never touched you before. It is not that we are unable to understand your identity. So they understood that this is the girl about to get married. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, beautiful girl with beautiful eyebrows. Certainly Providence, by his causeless mercy, has sent you to please the senses and minds of all of us. Is this not a fact? <laughs> so this is the thing. The, what is the idea? The demon thinks whatever beautiful in material world, whatever worthy, whatever valuable, is for my pleasure. Devo devoted thinks is for Lord's pleasure. And this is amazing. This is amazing. You can see when when the the the, the when one becomes devotee, how he changes consciousness. This everything completely different, you know. There was a um, pujari from our Delhi temple. He worships Radha Krishna there. He's a, he's a Bengali, but many, many years, I think 25 years he's already in Delhi. Speaks very nice Hindi and very sattvic, very peaceful, you know. So one day we were together in Jaipur for darshan, and um, suddenly, you know, he disappeared. We couldn't find him for hours, three, four hours he's missing. So, you know, it's unusual. Usually we tell each other, Prabhuji, I'm going here and there, I will come in five, ten minutes. You know? So, we're looking for, looking for nothing. Then evening darshan, he appeared. Three, four hours, five hours maybe. I think five hours we're waiting for him. Evening darshan in Govindaji, he again appears with two bags like this. So... We are looking at that. So where have you been, man? You know, you know, you didn't say one word. No, um, we are in Jaipur. So there are famous Bengals in Jaipur, you know. So I had to buy some Bengals. So you are a Brahmacharya fellow. You are buying these Bengals, you know. What? Maybe thought anyway. Maybe for family is buying, you know. So he said, "You want to see?" I said, "No, thank you. Close your bag." <laughs> I'm not super impressed. No, please, you see. 
he started opening one bengal, another bengal, these are openable bengals. He is buying for Adarani bengals. There is no family, no sister, no mother, nobody is there. He went all afternoon shopping and these bengals they make, you can open it like this, put on murti and clothes. He purchased for Adarani two bags of bengals, you know. Just see, you know, I don't know what shopkeepers were thinking, <laughs> but he was particular <coughs> that he cannot put like this on the hand, like you are putting. Must be that openable one with pin, you know, with, you know. And you can see all kinds of, I say, Monday is white I have to put, this one, you know, according to days we are putting dressings. Monday is white, Tuesday is blue, Wednesday is green, Sunday is golden, you know, like this. All kinds of things, completely. So you see, if materialistic person cannot understand, the consciousness change. Devotee doesn't see now for my enjoyment. He didn't think of, I thought, I thought, man, you are buying for your sister, mother. Mm. <laughs> it's 25 years Pujar, isn't it? You see, it's a different concept completely, no? You know? We have other experience when you take new people to Vrindavan. They go all the way from South India to Vrindavan, and then what they go for shopping? Okay, shopping, maybe you buy some photo of Krishna, or you buy some Murti, or what you have, you know? They won't buy pots. Tawa they are buying in Vrindavan. Whoever well, you came from South India, you're going to carry Tawa from Vrindavan, you know? It's just amazing! <laughs> Tawa! Come on, <laughs> you yeah, understand, you know. They always think, what is that for me? Oh, no, cheaper this for, nice marble one for rolling chapatis, you know, that small one. Oh, very good, you know. So you can see there. So people buy all kinds of things on Yatra, you know, which you can just get locally, you know. So, so like that. Okay. <clears throat> then, we are now all engaged in enmity amongst ourselves because of this one subject matter, the container of nectar. Now this is interesting. Now they are revealing their mind to the beautiful lady. You see, they are all interested. They want to talk to her. They want to their, her attention. Although we have been born in the same family, we are becoming increasingly inimical. Or teen wasted women who are so beautiful in your prestigious position. We there are, there are, therefore request you to favor us by settling our dispute. Now you see, they, <laughs> the Lord bewilders them. No. You, you decide, because all of them are thinking, of course, she's going to choose me, no? <laughs> so they want that thing. I am so important, I'm so big man, definitely, what, there's no question that she's going to choose me, no? They were rolling mustaches, like... <laughs> uh, very interesting. All of us, both demons and demigods, have been born of the same father, Kashepa, and thus we relate as brothers. But now we are exhibiting our personal prowess in dissensions. Therefore, we request you to settle our dispute and divide the nectar equally among us. Okay, so this is the proposal. Having thus been requested by the demons, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who had assumed the form of a beautiful woman, began to smile. Looking at them in attractive feminine gestures, she spoke as follows. <laughs> now look at how shloka start? Sri Bhagavan Vacha. When Mohini Murti is speaking, it's very clear what is this Leela. <laughs> the Supreme Personality of Godhead, in the form of Mohini, told the demons, O son of Kashya Pamuni, I'm only a prostitute. Pumshchali is called in Sanskrit. Pumshchala. <laughs> how is it that you have so much faith in me? A learned person never puts his faith in a woman particularly in the Pumshchali, no? So now look at this. Lord is teasing them. He understood they are bewildered. They are not going to... He's just teaching everyone. Look at this. Even woman is saying, that why you are so much glorifying me? I'm simply Pumshchali. Simply I'm unworthy. But Lord is showing, they are not going to give it up. They're so attracted, they're so bewildered. So many times we see in material world that there is a woman, and you can see she's ruining the man, and still he's running after her. And he, she's ruining him. And everybody tells him, she's going to finish your health, she's going to finish your wealth, she's going to ruin you, and you're not going to marry her. You know? And man cannot <coughs> give it up. He can't give it up. He's, he's, he's such a bewilderment, such an illusion, delusion, bewilderment, maya, whatever you call it. You know? So look, look what, what Mohini Murti does to them. She is instructing them 
and instructing all of us, but they can't get it. Or demons, as a monkeys, jackals and dogs are unsteady in their sexual relationship and want newer and newer friends. Every day, women who live independently seek new friends daily. Friendship with such a woman is never uh, permanent. This is the opinion of learned scholars. So she is telling them, why you want to, why you desire a prostitute? That's not good, because she won't be chaste to you. A prostitute is not chaste. No? Okay. After the demons heard the words of Mohini Murti, who had spoken as if jokingly, they were all very confident. They laughed with gravity, and ultimately they delivered the container on actor unto her hands. They thought, ah, she's just talking like this, just joking like this. How cleverly she is speaking. They're so bewildered. They can't hear good instruction. This is amazing. You know. The, the boy approached one family to marry their daughter five times. Five times they refused. And, and what is his conclusion? They're just testing whether I'm so much determined. He didn't get it, he didn't get it right. Unless she got invitation for marriage, for her marriage. Means married, she got married to somebody else. He couldn't give up. He, five times he went to family, and every time they said, look, it's not matching, it's not, uh, you know, you are here, she is here, it, it will not, you know, you are going north, she's going south, it won't work, please give it up, please give it up, please give it up. Five times, you know, two years, chasing, 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 harassing, family, no. And he couldn't get it right. No, she's testing me. She's seeing whether my love is solid, whether I'm committed. <laughs> it was illusion. All right. So here, they given the container to her hands. Thereafter, the Supreme Personality Godhead, having taken possession of the container of nectar, smiled slightly and spoke in attractive words. She said, My dear demons, if you accept whatever I may do, whether honest or dishonest, then I can take responsibility for dividing the nectar amongst you. <laughs> now she is telling them, You are giving to me. Now whatever I do, you don't complain. And they say yes. If it was all grandmother there, they will say, get lost grandmother, give the nectar, we'll drink. No, they won't listen. Just because of beauty, they were bewildered. This is amazing. This is amazing how man becomes a dancing dog in the hands of the woman, just like a puppet in the hands of a woman. And this is uh, exploited in today's world. This is very much exploited. If you see USA to the extreme, this thing is exploited. The beauty of a woman is exploited in any possible way. Uh, to bewilder men and also women are cheated, they are cheated, they are exploited for the magazines, they, they are posing in bikinis, they are, you know, made publicly, wear funny clothes and no clothes and, you know, even, even rich people, they are completely bewildered with that, you know. It's a big, big exploitation of this uh, phenomenon that one can get bewildered by the woman. Okay, the chiefs, of the, <clears throat> the chiefs of the demons were not very expert in deciding things. Upon hearing the sweet words of Mohini Murti, they immediately ascended. Yes, they answered. What you have said is all right. Does the demons agree to accept her decision? So she said, whatever I do, don't complain. Then I will divide properly. They agreed. The demigods and demons then observe a fast. After bathing, they offer clarified butter and oblation to the fire and give charity to the cows and to the brahmanas and members of other orders of society, namely the kshatriyas, vaishas and shudras. Can you see any of this? These are small letters, huh? Hmm? Okay, better? Yeah. That was so small before, is it? No, it's okay? Okay. So, they given the charities to brahmanas, members of other society, kshatriyas, vaishya, shudras, who were all rewarded as they deserved. Thereafter, the demigods and demons perform ritualistic ceremonies under the directions of brahmanas. Then, they dress themselves with new garments, according to their own choice, decorated their bodies with ornaments, and set facing east on seats made of kusha grass. Now, you see, before anything auspicious is done, bath is there, homam is there, Brahmanas, they guide how to do everything auspicious, and then you get full benefit of something. Now, this is very important. Whatever you do, if you do with full awareness, with full consciousness, you get full benefit of it. Say you come to temple and you offer pranam. Better that time you think of God when you offer him pranam. Bhagavan, 
I came to your house, to your place, I offer him pranam. Not that you're thinking, oh, so many people, I didn't close the car, whether the car key is there or not. You know, you get benefit, but you get half of the benefit. You don't get full benefit. I don't know half or not. How much you are present, this much benefit you get. <laughs> you know, so if bodily is only present, this much benefit you get. You know, really, it's, it matters. And all these Vedic systems, when any dealings with God, it's so important. Like anything we want to do, first Achmana has to be done. Achmana. What is Achmana? You put a, three drops of water and you think of Vishnu. Om Ke Shavai Namaha. Then you have to, through the Gokmuk, sip half and half offer back to the Bhumi. Then again, Om Kesha, Om Narayana Mahadeva, Om Madhavayana Mahadeva, like this. Now you have to think of Kesha, Narayana Mahadeva. This is the purifying agent. Now the fellow comes, water, water, then use the soap also. It's not the water is purifying agent. It's the Nama of the Lord. It's the Smarana of the Lord which is purifying agent, you know. No, otherwise people working with this, what do I call this? Uh, who are putting, putting the pipes around, how do you call them? Plumbers. plumbers. Plumbers would be saintly persons, they are dealing with water. No. <laughs> no, not like that. No, it's not the water itself purifying. Unless mantras are chanted. Then we have chanted mantras, Ganga Chaya, Muna Chaya, you have to chant mantra, you invoke all the holy waters in your um, Panchapatra, and then you remember Vishnu. And then it's said, when it's important function or something, Twice you do Achman, just to make sure that you remember the Lord. That's why every morning we put Tilaka. We put Tilaka, Om Kesha, Nama, Om Nara, Nama, Madhava, Nama, Gunda, Nama, Vishnu, Nama, Ha. Like this full of 12 parts of the body we put Tilaka. But we remember Lord Vishnu. That's the, that is the potency. That's so nice. You take three times Bata, three times you put Tilaka, three times you go through that. Three times Gayatri Mantras are chanted. Then you have your, you know, morning puja, evening pujas. There's so much. All system is made to remember the Lord, you know. So here also for this this uh, churning of nectar, there was all system that okay, because with proper consciousness has to be done. Okay, so they all said that. Now, okay, as the demigods and demons sat facing east in an arena full decorated with flower garlands and lamps and fragrant with smoke of incense, that woman, dressed in the most beautiful sari, her ankle bells tinkling, entered the arena walking very slowly because of her big, low hips. Her eyes were restless due to youthful pride. Her breasts were like water jugs. Her tides resembled the trunks of an elephant, and she carried a water pot in, water pot in her hand. Okay? Then, her attractive nose and cheeks and her ears adorned with golden earrings made her face very beautiful. As she moved, her saris border on her breast moved slightly aside. When the demigods and demons saw these beautiful features of Mohini Murti, who was glancing at them and slightly smiling, they were all completely enchanted. Okay, so this is ultimate defeat. <laughs> but here commentators, they explain that Vishnu Chakravarti Tagore comments on Bhagavatam, that Mohini Murti, personality Godhead, in a feminine form, and that the goddess of fortune is her associate. Okay, remarks that Mohini Murti is Supreme Lord Vishnu, and Lakshmi Devi is her associate. This form of Sri Bhattar Sanat Gautam challenged the goddess of fortune. The goddess of fortune is beautiful, but if the Lord accepts the form of a woman, he surpasses the goddess of fortune in beauty. It is not that goddess of fortune being female is, most, is the most beautiful. The Lord is so beautiful that he can excel any beautiful goddess of fortune by assuming a female form. Now this is also important to the link this is no offense to Lakshmi Devi. Lakshmi Devi herself was there and she was amazed by seeing that beautiful form. And this is something very amazing that sometimes ladies, they may appreciate another lady's beauty. Like sometimes we hear ladies, she say, oh, she's very beautiful. Now hardly I heard in my life men saying, oh, this man is so beautiful. <laughs> if you say, you're a different kind of person. <laughs> you know, no? Man won't say that. Oh, this man is so beautiful. Man is beautiful. Something, what happened to you, you know? In school they teach. Minus, 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 plus, plus. Plus and minus, you know. <laughs> Circles and triangles, you know, you have to match, you know. But some people got a little bewildered. <laughs> they are not matching properly, you know. All right. 
So if I say this in Europe, I got arrested. You see, if I say in America, you get arrested. You know? But in India, we can speak freely. What is nonsense is nonsense. What is right is right. You know. <laughs> All right. Okay. One more. <coughs> Demons are by nature crooked like snakes. Therefore, to distribute a share of the nectar to them was not above, not at all feasible, since this would be dangerous as supplying milk to the snake. Considering the Supreme Personality Godhead, who never falls down, did not deliver a share of nectar to the demons. Now you may say, why God is not giving both were churning together? But these fellows will misuse. This will go against Dharma, against religion. Therefore, should not be given. <coughs> oh, you are feeding the cows. Why you are not feeding snakes? Because you feed the snake, they will bite you. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> you know? Okay. So here, the Supreme Personality of Godhead has Mohini Murti, the master of the universe, arranged separate lines of sitting places and seated the demons and demigods according to their position. He split them. Okay, first, part first. Nobody is objecting. This is amazing. When beautiful lady comes, and she is exceptionally beautiful, every man wants to talk to her. Everybody wants some attention. Some or other. Something they'll figure out. Something they will try to approach. Something to talk. It's amazing, this attraction, how Brahma made the mind of the man, you know? That if beautiful lady comes, immediately, man change your voice, it'll become <coughs> a little deeper voice, becomes a little deeper, and all the movements become a little serious, and uh, mm, yeah, I know, that, uh, I'm an expert of 40 years, I'm doing this, and <laughs> they start boasting this way, that way, trying to impress. And ladies are most amazing. They first, immediately, they can figure out, then when the, how you say in Americans, they say, when the guy is melting. <laughs> they can figure out, you know, immediately, you know, that uh, how, how mind works, you know. Immediately man wants to impress young lady. Even if he's old buffalo, 60 years old or something, you know, still he will try to do some, you know. He will try to, you know, it's amazing. The old man, the old man, he just... They, nobody can control this. It's very difficult. Only sadhus, saintly persons. Okay. <laughs> Taking the container of nectar in her hands, she first approached the demons. Now she came with a pot of nectar and demons. I said, that's it. Now we are going to drink. Satisfied them with sweet words. And thus cheated them of, of their share of the nectar. Simply like this. Simply some promises she given. She smiled, she glanced, glanced attractively, and Manuel, <laughs> they were in bliss, you know? She's talking to me, ah, what a nice feeling. Oh, she, she glanced on me. They were already bewildered, they were so bewildered. Definitely, no problem, whatever she does, you know. Because they can't argue with her. They don't want to lose the relationship. They don't want to lose that Ah, we are so important. You know. I, can do, I give a little bit to this the, the demigods. Give them a little bit. But we are the real guys. Now you, you, you do, you do. <laughs> she bewildered them. So then she administered the nectar to the demigods who were sitting at a distant place to make them free from invalidity, old age, and death. Okay, just one second. Okay, since the demons had promised to accept whatever the woman did, whether just or unjust, now to keep this promise, to show their equilibrium, and to save themselves from fighting with a the woman, they remain silent. Now, few things are considered. Very culture, you don't quarrel with women. You don't simply, you don't fight, you don't beat, you, no punishment. No punishment for women, no punishment for children, no punishment for old people. These are excuses. Okay. So, then, to, to, also show their equilibrium. Okay, we are. To you show your greatness by being cool. Others will get agitated, but I'm not getting agitated. Okay, let them they give them little demigod some little nectar. No problem. We are great, and therefore you show interest to me. No? <laughs> All right, this is how it works. All world is working like this. The demons had developed affection for Mohini Murti and a kind of faith in her, and this is the problem with men. Man believes beautiful woman. Remember Putana, very beautifully she appeared. <laughs> so this is the problem. Because we associate beauty with piety, which it is in one way. But not necessarily that is used in pious way, you know. So simply like this, the, the beautiful ladies, they will uh, marry the rich man, 
and take all their money away. This is classical thing in USA, it's a classic. Any rich man, you will see a 20, 30 years younger woman, and um, she is sure she, how you say it, bingo. <laughs> she got her lottery, you know, she got her money for the rest of the life, you know. And if she attempts to divorce her, he's going to lose all property also, you know. So it's amazing, it's amazing. In India you don't see this because you follow this cultural system of arranging, you know, according to the parents' parents understanding. And they didn't want to disturb friendship with her. Okay. And many times this is exploited. The woman will come and achieve anything in the business in this day by using her uh, female features, corporate offices, big issue that uh, they will uh, appeal to the senior, to the managers, they will get their way through, they'll get the salary increase, they'll get their projects done by manipulating by beauty. More, more particularly in the West, this is very famous thing. We knew, we knew in the, in the, when we were in the college, we knew one particular professor, he couldn't resist young girls, he couldn't resist, you know. There were no girls to fail on exam, you know. All girls will pass, and most of the boys will fail. And just because you're a girl, you'll pass. No girls will study his subject. He could not fail. He just, you have to talk to him a little bit. Fight and means little smile and little talk to him. <laughs> oh, you're a good student, no problem, don't worry, you know. And then angry at us men, you know. The boys, the, all the anger was trumped on us, you know. It's amazing. I remember him. <laughs> Baba, you know, you know, I start growing hair. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay, so Rahu, the demon who caused eclipses of the sun and the moon, 